Mm, you know what I'm trying to I'm trying to boogie. My name Big Boogie. I really be trying to boogie, though, y'all. No cap. Y'all might don't think I be trying to boogie. I really be trying to boogie. Like, I'm going to give y'all a 2021 story I don't know about. Boom. Cray came to Barber John, right? He was out back faking. Y'all seen the video. All that and all that. That shit wasn't about nothing. What y'all don't know is Cray came back a second time and did that shit. I chased his ass all the way to the quarters. Ask the quarters. Ask somebody. Y'all ain't getting the good sides of the story. It's like y'all only get the one side detail. What about the side when Cray came back and that hot shit went off? He don't. Nobody never tell y'all the good parts. That's what blow me. They try to leave the good parts out. I be talk. I be trying to boogie. Big boogie. Fuck you talking about, nigga. The whole quarters. Now I click that Cray ass. Fuck is you talking about? Cray couldn't come back to that motherfucking back lot. Fuck you talking about? I'm big boogie. The fuck you think Cray ain't been back to Barbers? Because he know that to bring his ass back. Fuck you talking about? I'm big boogie. I be trying to boogie. For real. No cap. Niggas be capping shit on here. Niggas come back the first time with no cameras. When they come back with no cameras, what happened? Rocking and rolling. Niggas know what the fuck going on with me. This ain't no fabricated story. Go ask your man. Fuck you talking about? Go ask your man. Fuck you talking about? Shit. Shit ain't crazy. Fuck is you talking about? They call me Big Boogie. I be trying to boogie. Like, they be trying to get y'all the good sides of the story. Make niggas listen to me when there's cameras and shit. But when it ain't no cameras, well, shit you can't talk about, they don't want to come on and talk about that. The fuck? Talk about it a second time. Ask his ass. Well, y'all see Cray. Ask his ass. Cray, did you go back to Bob's a second time? Ask his ass what happened that time. He don't want to talk about that one. Fuck. I only speak Glockanese. The fuck? Glockiana. If they ain't talking Glockiana, I ain't trying to hear that shit. Sick and tired of chasing niggas, man. I'm telling you, man. I've been chasing niggas my whole life. I ain't active. Just know that. And that's crazy that and that's crazy and that's crazy that Cray set the world up like that. Cray had y'all thinking he ran down on me out back whole time I was saving his ass. Can I show y'all something about something? Let me just show y'all something about this video that y'all never knew. I don't be trying to put niggas on blast and shit, but my man already locked up, so he be all right. He be all right. I ain't going to say too much. But in that video, when I walked up to Cray, right, the video didn't start two hours, like, halfway back. I was all the way in Cray's face off the break. Like, I was with Cray for, like, a minute. We was right there talking. That was the end of the video, like, that me done talking to him, turned around, they cropped it. But what y'all don't know is, look at that video. In the video, right here, in this spot, in the video, the video in this spot, you're going to see swag. He never moved. The fuck swag job? You think, my, you think I'm getting punched? First of all, I'm already not getting punched. I got a safety bird out there. I'm out there with I'm out there with the I'm out there with swag. Like you think I'm about to get punched? It's me and swag. Swag didn't even move. Swag stood his ass right there with that. Swag did what the fuck he supposed to do. Swag stood his ass right there by that bush and looked at me, talked to Craig, and didn't say nothing. I swear to God, he was right there just like this the whole time, the whole video. None of y'all never seen that. Y'all sitting right there worried about Craig. Cray, Cray is the least of our worries right here. We try to tell Craig, stop all this tipping, you're gonna die. That's what we really trying to tell him. Like, bruh. Stop all this tipping out here. You gonna get your ass smoked out here. That's what we trying to tell them. Y'all taking that shit a whole nother way. Like, y'all trying to get Cray ass killed, bro. Like, stop. Cray could have died that day. The fuck? Swag is not about to let this man do nothing to me. And I'm not about to let this man do nothing to me. Like, what world are y'all in? Like, Cray could have got a hundred put in his ass right there. Like, Cray could have died out back that day. If y'all dumb as shit, like, y'all still already just bragging about this shit. Like, I didn't see nothing happen. That, that wasn't even a dangerous situation for me. That, that situation wasn't even dangerous. I was in control of that whole situation. You might don't know. The fuck? The fuck? Like, y'all think Cray was about to do something. Like, the fuck world is y'all in? Like, wake up, please. Please wake up, bro. No nigga fucking to me. Cray would have punched me. I would have sent them. <laughs> like, straight like that. Like... That's my homeboy. That's my partner. I'm coming to tell him, like, bro, my mother live here. It's the same spot I cooked the sandwich for you in, bro. You feel some type of way, I'm going to let you up the same way, bro. The same way you just was in here two nights ago, you can come in the same way. You can come in the house and say this shit in the living room. You out back with cameras on the rock and tip and shit. You doing anything. And if it wasn't no cameras back there, I'd have put the dog on him. I swear to God. If it wasn't no cameras back there, I'd have made Cray ass sit down. Like, man, get the fuck now. Like, I swear to God. It was them cameras. The only thing saved them was them cameras. I was on 10. I don't hear yelling. The rental office can look out the window and see it's 75 people out back. You don't think they coming out back with security, man? A, we at the security booth, y'all. 
You just don't see it. That gazebo right there is connected to a security booth. It's a, that, that door that I'm going through. Secure, the police see me through that door, bro. That's why I'm trying to go through that door. That's the rental office lady. I got to go. They telling me I'm blowing the spot up. Like, basically, I'm blowing the spot up. And y'all already know how I'm moving. I got to get the fuck on. I can't be right here. This spot is blown. Fuck. And there's another part about the story. I was outside for 10 minutes before Cray. Cray was across the street on M Street. He was looking in the parking lot. I was in the parking lot. Me and Swag had to beg Cray to come over there. I swear to God. We was outside for 10 minutes. The quarters came behind him. We had to beg Cray. Swag had to say with my father, nigga, come over here. We not about to do nothing. We had to beg Cray to come over there. Y'all didn't even see that. I wish the camera started from the beginning. We was outside already. I didn't just walk outside. That video started. I was already outside. I was outside already like 30 minutes. We was chilling. Me, he, and Swag was out back. We said, go get Cray. How the fuck you think he and Swag got out back? They wasn't out back when I walked out there. We was outside for 30 minutes waiting on Cray to walk across the street. Cray walked across the street with the whole quarters and his phone on. That's how that shit came about, the video. The fuck? Me and Cray was talking for 20 minutes before the video. Cray bluffing like shit. Cray don't want no trouble.